Intubation is an advanced practice procedure that may be indicated during resuscitation when an infant's heart remains below 100 beats per minute despite positive pressure ventilation and prior to starting chest compressions. Do a timeout to correctly identify the patient and the procedure. Prepare pre-intubation medication per institutional policy. Maintain thermal regulation throughout the procedure. Select the correct size endotracheal tube, also referred to as an ET tube. The size is determined by the infant's weight or gestational age. When using a stylet, ensure the tip does not protrude through the end of the tube to avoid tissue trauma. Select the correct laryngoscope blade. Use a number one blade for term infants, a number zero for preterm infants, and a double zero for extremely preterm infants. Turn on the blade light and ensure the batteries and light are working. Gather the necessary supplies to secure the tube, including tape, a polymer film for a skin protectant, and an adhesive product. Cut two strips of tape into a Y shape and set aside. You may consider increasing the infant's oxygen concentration to support them through intubation. To determine the ET tube insertion depth, add six to the infant's weight in kilograms. Verbalize the ET tube measurement at the gum or upper lip. Assist with bag and mask ventilation between intubation attempts. Maintain a respiratory rate of 40 to 60. The provider may also request for the infant to be suctioned for secretions between attempts. Communicate vital signs during the procedure. Note the heart rate and oxygen saturation. A carbon dioxide detector or CO2 detector will be attached to confirm the presence of CO2 and should turn yellow. Vapor condensation in the ET tube also shows the ET tube is in the trachea. Attach a T-piece resuscitator or a resuscitation bag and provide manual breaths. Another provider will auscultate for bilateral breath sounds. Look for bilateral chest rise, an increase in heart rate, and oxygen saturation. Ensure the skin is clean and dry. Apply a polymer film to serve as a skin protectant. Then apply an adhesive to help the tape adhere to the skin. Place the top strip of the Y-shaped tape on the upper lip. One strip will wrap around the tube and then wrap upward. Ensure you leave a tab at the end of each strip to make it easier to remove later. The second Y-shaped strip will be placed on top of the other tape on the upper lip facing in the opposite direction. The strip will also wrap around the ET tube and then upwards. Verify that the ET tube remains at the previously determined measurement at the lip or gum. Verbalize the need for an X-ray to confirm placement. The tip of the ET tube should be at the mid trachea. Verbalize the need for an OG or NG tube to decompress the abdomen and provide feedings. Gather and prepare all necessary supplies for the provider. Verbalize vital signs to the provider during the procedure and assist in suctioning the infant when requested. Assess for placement and secure the ET tube with tape. 